Switching over to Linux is one of those ideas that always lingers at the back of people's heads, but most times they never really get to fulfill this action. Now, this OS that I'm about to tell you about, Zorin OS, might be the best way for you to transition into the world of Linux. Let's go. What's up, Linus here, and in today's Linux video, I see what I did there, we are looking into Zorin OS. Now, Zorin OS is the easiest way for you to transition uh, from Windows over to Linux operating system. Now, Zorin OS is a Linux-based distribution. So basically, all their background is built off the Ubuntu Linux platform. Now, this gives it very good compatibility and also gives it an easy way to, you know, manage things in terms of getting packages, getting software. Even the installation process itself is made really simple just because it is best of the Ubuntu system. So right now, I'm running Zorin uh, Core version, which is basically the more stripped down uh, version of Zorin. There is an ultimate version of Zorin. However, it is not free. It does come at a charge. However, the core version is absolutely free for you to enjoy and it still gives you all the features. Now, just flipping through the Zorin OS website, as you can see, very nice layout and it just says uh, download Zorin or you can watch a video, you know, to just enlighten you and give you a quick run through what the operating system is all about. Uh, on the website here already, you can see these very nice tantalizing images just giving you a beautiful picture of what the operating system does look like actually some of these uh, menus here do remind me of a picture that i've seen online of windows 11 but of course uh, many people have been saying that zorin is you know the quickest way for you to flip over if you are a windows user so definitely the layout is that simple uh, as you can see it also runs on old computers it says like works lightning fast on old computers 15 years and older right there now uh what i wanted to highlight here mainly today is the difference between ultimate core and light uh, versions of Zorin. Now let's just uh, jump over here to the comparison. Now ultimate will come with an office suit same as core, light, advanced desktop that will also go through core uh, ultimate and core. Lightweight desktop only comes on ultimate, won't come on core but I guess that is all good. Now where the biggest thing is here is layouts. Now the ultimate version will have layouts for Mac OS GNOME and Ubuntu so basically you can make it look like any of the above but the core edition that we are running won't have that now zorin uh, os ultimate will come with over 20 games now this won't be on the core but of course like i said earlier these are things that are actually very easy uh, to do install over there now let's go ahead and install this uh, let's go ahead and install this i'm not going to be downloading updates while installing uh, because right now my internet connection is not really good i've been having some issues so i'm just going to skip that and then yeah let's just go erase the entire disk i'm erasing the entire disk because this particular hard drive is just going to be running as uh, zorin only so let's get a username here that will be uh text select uh password something simple to remember and then off we go it's copying file The installation is done and now we're just going to uh, restart the system okay now uh these are my you know first looks into the system already it does look like a windows os like the start menus over here the taskbar looks familiar it actually has a very big resemblance with windows 11 and that's something really beautiful uh you can uh, choose your displays bluetooth this is everything in settings just well laid out nothing uh, hard to get now uh the background it does come pre-installed with some very amazing wallpapers that is something very amazing about that and i love the fact that it automatically detects all my hardware that i have i do have a graphics card in the system and it has already detected that and that is just something really nice to have right there uh over here it has detected my location since it knows that i am around uh uganda it is giving me my calendar in Luganda. i'll be changing that because i don't really know how to read that however that is it now going over to the app store right here there's so many applications that do come obs studio i see i normally use that a lot calibre office uh, and all these things over here now 
this year is just good because out of the box the operating system is coming with a lot of applications you know just for you to click and install now for me who's switching over from windows this is something that is really uh, very nice now something again here that does give me a little bit of uh, windows nostalgia over here on the side you can see it has already organized my uh icons i have home desktop documents downloads music pictures now i'm used to this file system on windows like i said this is the quickest way for you to switch over to a uh, linux because everything is well laid out to you know a pattern that you are uh, very used to going over to the layouts here uh the themes and layouts you know uh with the themes down here you can actually choose between dark mode and light mode or the best bit of it is you can put it on automatic it will detect when it is day put for either white scheme and then if it is night it will automatically switch to the dark scheme uh, which is very nice i like the dark mode bit of it also i love the fact that you can uh, put uh, de icons on your desktop uh, the ones that we're normally used to so the home icon here would be the same as my computer the trash icon that one will always like having it there and then also it also adds a network and mounted volumes now mounted volumes if let's say you plug a flash disk it will definitely show up there that is something very beautiful now just to play here I'll play around here with the different uh, layouts with the different layouts uh, over here now this one here gives us just a slightly smaller uh, status about which is not bad and this one here gives us like that uh, app launcher that is kind of similar something you find on mac os but let me just go back to the other one the normal uh, windows one because uh, coming from windows i just like things are uh, being something that i'm used to now you can also change the location of your taskbar put it up put it down everything is just you know as uh, simple like that i'm uh, going over to those that love gaming we do have steam so you can actually in install the steam library on here uh, and to be running office on version of steam os however you should couple this with uh, an application called wine and also not all games are compatible running on linux that's just uh, giving you a bit of foreground drone also has added advantage for those that are gaming yeah that it will come with uh, nvidia drivers just ready for you to uh, to rock and roll basically they will come pre -installed installed with the operating system so i just had to bring that out here for you to also get to know uh, what it does look like i love the logout screen it has a nice uh, beautiful uh, texture to it uh, the glare to it and that uh, over there so that was a quick rundown of zorin os right here on the tech select channel this is going to be my daily uh, driver operating system so everything is going to be done here i would be finding the best video editing software for linux and i shall definitely come here and let you know what works for me and what i have discovered does actually work so in case i find any interesting applications i shall definitely be alerting you out there but as of right now this here is the operating system that i am running i'm going to be editing all my videos on it i'm going to be running this full time right here so that is zorin os 16 core for you thank you so much for watching this video make sure you go hit the subscribe button like comment share and definitely i shall see you in the next video cheers